Your fixture table kit is either going to come in a pallet just like ours if you order it as a kit or if you order it from your local laser supplier using our digital download, you'll have to pick up the parts individually on your own. Now we're going to recycle our old welding table. Since it's already done and it's about the 2x4 size of the table, it worked out pretty conveniently. Kevin unloaded all the parts and what he's going to do is start off by attaching some nuts. Now, in hindsight, this was not the correct way to do it because we realized that the nuts were going to cause warping as we progressed. And so we decided, well, we're gonna start with the ribs instead. So we decided to do all the interior ribs. And then once the ribs looked like they were well set in place, it was time to do the sides. This way, when we do install all the nuts and we tack weld them in place, we can minimize the amount of distortion. And you can see here, Kevin's doing a little bit of hand filing and tapping to get everything to fit. The tolerances are pretty tight. You only have 10 thousandths to work with. And a little tap on the tack welds there can shift the plates around just enough to get it all to align. Finish tack welding it all up. And now it's time to do all the exterior welding. The amount of welding that you need to do is dependent on what you're trying to accomplish. So we did the least amount of welding we thought we could get away with and that saved us from too much warping. Here you can see us finishing up the nuts. We just tack weld them all in place. One person would move the bolt and place a new nut while the other person tack welded. And as soon as we were done, we immediately put it to work. Here you can see Kevin getting set up to do the accessories. The accessories come in a variety of different sizes, four inch, eight inch, and 12 inch. Now this is a very good example of how simple it can be. Down the road, we're gonna show you guys how to do more complex parts. This is a really good example of how using some simple blocking, a couple of clamps, and a hammer, and you can easily tap everything into place nice and precisely. Really enjoy how it's turning out so far. Now it's time to make a few fences. These are really simple. They're just quarter inch plates that get a 90 degree bend. They do not come pre-bent. You will have to bend them on your own. Now this is how we're gonna do our clamps. Everything you see here came from Harbor Freight and we just cut off the bits we didn't need and welded on some threads. Same goes for these clamps. We got both the six inch and 12 inch clamps. That's our universal tab position that you see Kevin using. That's the most handiest tool I've ever had my entire life. And there it all is. We have different sizes for the fences, quarter inch, one inch, and two inch. Some of the fences have a V groove so you can hold onto round parts. And that's really handy if you're doing roll cage fabrication. There's an example of the clamps holding parts down. All of our fences are slotted, so that way you can get everything into position nice and conveniently. And there's an example of the different sizes that we have in the kit. We have double slot and single slot designs for a variety of clamping solutions. And this is just a straight V groove so you can position things on the uprights how you need to. And that one's 90 degrees for flat surfaces where you want a little bit of a standoff. If you would like a fixture table just like ours in your shop or garage, there's two ways you can do it. You can get this as a download from our website, send all the files to your local laser cutter, and then when they're done cutting them out, just go pick them up. The other way to do it is to order the kit directly from us and it ships straight to your door in a pallet just like ours did and you can put it together in your own garage. Be sure to subscribe because in future episodes we're going to cover how to use this table for a variety of projects. I'll see you in the next one.